Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Track and Field for the NES. This is a very cool game. I remember me and my older brother having many button mashing good times. I will not be using the NES Max or the Advantage controller or any controller with turbo buttons in this LP. I will be using a technique I learned as a kid, and it's called the lighter technique. Here's how it's done. Grab a lighter. I prefer using a Bic. Then rub the lighter back and forth as fast as you can over the A button. I don't consider this cheating because it still takes some skill to execute this technique. So with that said, let's get started. Track and field consists of eight different events. The 100 meter dash, the long jump, the 110 meter hurdles, javelin throw, skeet shooting, triple jump, archery, and the high jump. And we shall take them in order. So let's start with the 100 meter dash. The object of the 100 meter dash is not necessarily beating the computer. It's to beat the qualifying time, and if you look at the top right, you will see the qualifying time of 14 seconds. And I jumped the gun on that one. So let's do that again and try not to foul this time. Eight point eight nine seconds. That's really fast. Now let's go to the next event, the long jump. When you jump, you want to try to get a forty-five degree angle to maximize the distance. Seven point two six meters. That's not too bad. It's good enough to qualify. That jump was a lot better. I jumped closer to the line and I got closer to the 45 degree angle. Damn it, I hit that 45 degree angle perfect, but I jumped too far from the line. Now let's move on to the next event, the 110 meter hurdles. This event is not about beating the computer, it's about beating the qualifying time of 15.5 seconds. I only beat the computer by seven hundredths of a second. Let's go to the next event, the javelin throw. Just like the long jump, you want to try to throw the javelin at a 45 degree angle. 92.22 meters, not too bad of a throw for the first try. I don't think this throw is going to be as good as the first one. Yep, yeah, just what I thought, 91.95 meters. This throw is going to be huge. I hit the 45 degree angle and I had good speed. Oh yeah, 101.53 meters. That's a good throw. Now that we've made it halfway through the game, we get this little intermission. Now let's go to the next event, skeet shooting. How this works is the A button fires to the right side, and the left on the directional pad fires to the left side. The skeet shooting's pretty easy once you get into a rhythm. This part here, you want to shoot the UFO on the left side, because then you'll get this bird where you can get an additional 10,000 points. 18,200. That's the best I've ever scored in this game. I said not too long ago that skeet shooting is pretty easy once you get into a rhythm, but it's really easy to lose your rhythm also, just like this. I'm falling apart. Well, now I'm making a pretty good recovery and getting into the rhythm again, as you can see. Nah, 3,900. That's not too bad, but it's good enough to qualify.
There I go, losing the rhythm again. This one's even worse than the last one. There we go, I'm making a recovery and getting into the rhythm again. Eh, 3,300. Oh well, I already qualified with my first round. Now let's go to the next event, the triple jump. On the triple jump, you want your first jump to be about 50 degrees, then your next two jumps to be 45 degree angles. I found that the best way to play this game. 20.14 meters, not too bad. Twenty point five six meters, that's a little better than the first one. That was a perfect first jump and a terrible second jump. That's why this one didn't turn out that well. Now let's go to the next event, archery. The first thing you got to do is choose your wind. My wind is 5 degrees headed north. The object of this event is to get bullseyes, of course. You want your angle to be a perfect 5 degrees. But you still can get bullseyes with 4.76 degrees and 5.28 degrees. But it is harder to get bullseyes this way. The longer you hold down the A button, the higher the angle. Perfect! And with that shot, I have enough points to qualify. Let's see if I can improve on that 3,370 points in the second round. Oh, what the hell? That should have been a bullseye. That one too. I guess I'm releasing the arrow just a little bit too early. Bullseye. Those last two shots looked good to me. Well, I barely improved on that 3,370. I got 3,400 this round. Now I'm going to try to go for that world record of 3,500 points. Oh yeah, that's how you want to start off the round with a perfect bullseye. Ugh, I let that one go way too early. Oh yeah, another bullseye. And another perfect arrow. Two in a row, I'm on fire. Three thousand eight hundred and seventy? Yeah, that was enough to beat that world record. Now let's go to the last event, the high jump. Oh yeah, I cleared that with no problems. I was a little worried about that one. I thought I jumped a little too early. If you can successfully jump the high jump three times, you'll get a little astronaut who gives you a bonus 3,000 points. Oh no, I jumped too early, so no astronaut for me and no 3,000 bonus points. I fouled. Now the game will cycle through the eight events again. This time you will have to run faster, jump higher and farther, and you will have to score more points. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play track and field for the NES. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for the support.